Howard Dutch Darren was born in 1897. His family was associated with the Automatic Switch Company, and in 1916, the 18-year-old Darren designed the prototype of an electrical shifter for Willys Overland automobiles. During World War I, Darren was a pilot in France, and after the war, he met Thomas Hibbard, one of the founders of the LeBaron Body Company. Moving to Paris, the pair operated the agency for Belgian-built Minerva automobiles, as well as offering their own unique body designs as Hibbard and Darren. Together, they designed and sold over 500 custom bodies on luxury chassis including Rolls-Royce, Hispano Suiza, Maybach, and Mercedes-Benz to celebrities, royalty, and industrialists around the world. Following the stock market crash in 1929, Darren teamed up with financier Jay Fernandez, who bankrolled his business until 1937, when Darren's friend, 20th Century Fox film executive Daryl Zanuck, suggested he return to the United States and offer his designs to the film community. Setting up shop on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, Darren of Paris created custom packards for actors Dick Powell, Clark Gable, and Chester Morris. Soon, the popularity of Darren's low-slung design, featuring what became known as the Darren Dip along the top of the doors, was noticed by Packard President Alvin McCauley, who added the Darren-styled cars to the Packard line in 1940 in an effort to appeal to youthful buyers. This car, a 1940 Packard Custom Super 8 180 convertible sedan, featured Darren's lowered and stretched hood line, raked windshield, and restyled rear fenders and inside, a tufted leather dashboard and instrument panel made of the new wonder material, plastic. Although much lower than standard Packard factory bodies, this Darren offered a spacious rear compartment, also finished in modern style. While the Darrens created a sensation in Packard showrooms, with a price tag of $6,300 in 1940, equivalent to over $125,000 today, it's believed that just five of these custom convertible sedans were ever produced. Howard Darren was involved with design studies for the streamlined, non-classic Packard Clipper introduced in 1941, but by 1942, the last of the custom Packard Darrens were offered to the public. During World War II, Darren served as an Army flight instructor, and following the war was back designing cars for several other manufacturers, most notably the Kaiser Fraser Company with his unique fiberglass-bodied Kaiser Darren offered in 1954. Dutch Darren lived until 1982, long enough to be recognized as one of the most influential automotive designers of the classic era, his career reaching its zenith with his spectacular Packard Darrens. We thank Ray and Barbara Guidas for their donation of this automobile to the Classic Car Club of America Museum.